inside the coffin of Catherine of Aragon. King Henry VIII's first wife, Catherine of Aragon, is remembered for the injustice that she suffered throughout her life. Once a beloved queen, Catherine was sidelined in favour of Anne Boleyn, one of her ladies-in-waiting, as Henry's affection shifted. Despite her strong resolve to maintain her status as queen, Henry eventually stripped her of her title and reduced her to the rank of Doja Princess of Wales, citing her prior marriage to his late brother, Prince Arthur, who had died soon after their wedding at Ludlow Castle. Catherine's later years were marked by hardship. After being cast out of the royal court, she lived under virtual house arrest at Kimbolton Castle, far from the luxury and power that she once enjoyed. Her treatment by Henry VIII has been widely regarded as cruel, especially considering how much she had once meant to him. Curiously, although Henry had come to despise Catherine by the end of her life, he still arranged for an elaborate tomb after her death, though she was buried at Peterborough Cathedral rather than the prestigious Westminster Abbey. Catherine passed away on the 7th of January 1536 at the age of 50, and her final resting place was chosen by Henry due to its proximity to Kimbolton Castle, where she had died. What is striking is that Catherine was interred with the honours of a Doja Princess of Wales, a title reflecting her diminished status as the widow of Prince Arthur, rather than as Queen of England. Though she was a powerful and influential queen for many years, her burial reflected the complex and tumultuous end of her relationship with Henry. Her coffin was later disturbed in the 18th century, adding to the intrigue surrounding her life and death. Catherine of Aragon's funeral arrangements starkly contrasted with the significance of her role as Queen of England. While a formal state procession took place, with noble women in attendance, clad in black mourning veils and attire, it was clear that Henry VIII had little desire to lavish resources on his first wife's final farewell. Although the funeral involved numerous dignitaries, Henry begrudged the expenses, complaining about the costs involved. As a result, Catherine's burial was modest. She was not laid to rest in the opulent tomb, but rather beneath the floor at Peterborough Cathedral. In death, she was referred to as not Queen of England, but with the title Doja Princess of Wales, a reflection of her marriage to Prince Arthur, Henry's older brother. The official declaration referred to her as the right excellent and noble princess, the Lady Catherine, daughter to the late King Ferdinand of Castile, and late wife to the noble Prince Arthur, underscoring her diminished royal status. Her body was embalmed, with her organs removed and buried separately, as was common in royal burials of the time. The coffin, lined with lead to preserve her remains, began its journey from Kimbolton Castle, where Catherine had lived under house arrest. The funeral procession paused at Sautry Abbey for a night before reaching its final destination. Peterborough Abbey, now Peterborough Cathedral. Though her procession was solemn and attended by many, Catherine's burial arrangements were kept simple and understated, reflecting Henry's unwillingness to spend any more on the woman that he had once loved but had long since cast aside. When Catherine of Aragon's coffin arrived at Peterborough Cathedral, it was carried into a space adorned with symbols representing both her legacy and the English monarchy. John Howey, who succeeded the executed Bishop John Fisher, led the funeral service. His sermon, likely influenced by Henry VIII, was a controversial one. Howey falsely claimed that Catherine, on her deathbed, had renounced her title as Queen of England, declaring she was never truly queen. This disrespectful statement shocked many, including the imperial ambassador, who was prevented from attending. Despite the growing tension and Henry VIII's disdain for Catherine, he still saw to it that she was given a respectable burial. 
However, the tomb that he commissioned for her was later destroyed during the English Civil War when parliamentarian soldiers ransacked the cathedral, leaving little trace of the memorial. The story took an even darker turn in the 18th century, and in 1777, over two centuries after her death, Catherine's grave was disturbed. The motivation for exhuming her remains remain unclear, though rumours had circulated for years that Catherine was not buried alone. Some speculated that she shared her grave with Catherine Willoughby, a prominent woman rumoured to have been considered as a potential seventh wife for Henry VIII. To investigate, cathedral officials decided to open the tomb, and they found only one coffin, Catherine of Aragon's. While most of the officials deemed it improper to open the coffin further, one witness decided to act on his own. Armed with a drill, he bored a hole into the coffin. Through his opening, he inserted a wire with a hook, pulling out a piece of the black and silver cloth that had been used to wrap Catherine's body. This unauthorised act of tampering with her remains was both shocking and unnecessary reflecting the strange fascination surrounding Catherine of Aragon long after her death. The man who tampered with Catherine of Aragon's coffin managed to tear a piece of her burial cloth, pulling it from the tomb. As he brought the fabric into the open air, he noticed the lingering scent of embalming fluid, still present centuries after her death. However, once exposed to the elements, the delicate cloth quickly disintegrated, crumbling away upon contact with the air. This was the only known instance in which Catherine's coffin was breached, but afterwards her remains were reburied, and in later years a more modern Victoria-era tomb was erected, recognising her as a Queen of England. What was particularly disturbing about this incident was the damage caused by a single drilled hole. It's believed that this small opening allowed air to enter the coffin, hastening the decomposition of Catherine's remains. The embalming fluid which had preserved her for so long could no longer protect her body from exposure to the elements. Despite the significant harm that was inflicted, those responsible were never held accountable for their desecration. Catherine's final years were marked by her virtual imprisonment at Kimbolton Castle, as Henry VIII banished her from court and moved on to pursue younger women. Their once harmonious marriage had deteriorated as Henry's attention shifted, and even in death, Catherine's memory was not spared from disrespect, as her coffin was pried open out of mere curiosity. Today, if you visit Catherine's burial site, there is no grand tomb or effigy marking her final resting place. Instead, a simple slab notes her burial, a quiet and modest end for a woman who had once been Queen of England.